हेलो एवरी वन होप यू आर लर्डिंग वेल सो इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस दी लास्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ बाई वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट नाइन्टी इट्स अ हार्ड डेवल प्रॉब्लम सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ वीडियो फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम बट सम सम फोक्स हार्ड कन्फ्यूजन रिलेटेड टू अ सब प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू दिस वन लाइक दिस प्रॉब्लम इज रिलेटेड टू फाइंड दी सेकेंड ग्रेटर इन टीचर एंड इन दैट आई एज्यूम दैट वी नो हाउ टू फाइंड दी ग्रेटेस्ट इन टीचर राइट ग्रेटर इन इन टीचर रादर so what i'll do i'll i'll go into that as well in this video so that folks who are not aware of that uh, can basically understand that concept as well and how we can expand it to solve this problem right uh, so that is the main motive of this video right so if someone is watching this video directly then it's more than enough to uh, skip that video you can skip the previous video okay so uh, the problem name is next greater element 4 so you are given a zero indexed array of non negative integers nums For each integer in nums, you must find its respective second greater integer. Okay. Now, what is second greater integer? Second greater integer of nums of i is nums of j such that j is greater than i, nums of j is greater than nums of i, and there exists exactly one index k such that nums of k is greater than nums of i. Okay. Um, so obviously, the element needs to be present on the right hand side. its value should be greater than the current element and there should be one more element whose value is greater than the element which i am seeing right i'll explain it diagrammatically no worries uh, if there is no such uh, nums of j the second greater integer is considered to be minus 1 uh, for example in the array 1 2 4 and 3 the second greater integer of 1 is 4 why because 2 is greater than 1 4 is also greater than 1 so the condition is satisfied uh, satisfied so for 1 4 is the answer what about 2 so 4 is greater than 2 3 is also greater than 2 but since 3 is present on the right hand side it's the second element which is greater than 2 so that's why 3 will be answer for 2 and for 3 and 4 that will be minus 1 because for 4 uh, no element greater than 4 is present on the right hand side and similarly for 3 that's the same case so return an integer array answer where answer of i is the second greater integer of nums of i and these are certain examples i'll uh, I'll, i'll i'll cover this okay so let's jump into the intuition part okay that's that's the most important part so first suppose this is my array it is 2 4 0 9 and 6 so first see what will be the answer for this one right what what the problem is saying so it says that for 2 which is the first element on the right hand side of 2 which is greater than 2 so 4 is there okay 2 is 2 is not greater than 2 oh, sorry 0 is not greater than 2 What about nine? Nine is nine is also greater than two. So nine is the second element which is greater than two, right? So if this is my answer array, then for two nine will be my answer. Let's move to four. So is zero greater than four? No. Is nine greater than four? Yes. So nine is the first greater element. Now is six greater than four? Yes. Six is the second greater element. So for four answer will be six. Let's come to zero. Nine is greater than zero. Okay. Six is also greater than zero. This is the second number. So six is here. What about nine? No element is present which is greater than nine on the right hand side. So minus one. Similarly for six, no element present. So minus one. This is my answer. Okay. So this is what the problem is saying. Given this, we need to find this. If you want, I can take one more example. The second one is three, three. So for this three, no element on the right hand right hand side is present which is greater than this three. So minus one. Similarly for this minus one. Right. This is what we do. Now. Uh, so if if you if you guys are not familiar with how to find the next greater element let me just discuss it first and then we'll move to the extension of that problem right so suppose this is my array my array is 2 4 0 9 and 6 suppose i want to find the just greater element next greater element so for 2 it will be 4 right for 4 it will be 9 for 0 it will be 9 For nine, it will be minus one. For six, it will be minus one, right? So for two, it is four. For four, no, zero, not zero, but rather nine. Similarly, uh, for zero also nine, and so on. So what is the basic way to solve this one? So simple. You take a stack, right, and you start traversing your array. Okay. So initially, your uh, uh, stack is empty. So you push two here, right? This is your stack. Now you come to four. So what you do? Your current element is four. Okay. so you don't insert that into the stack you see what are these elements in the stack which are smaller than 4 right my current element is 
what are the elements in the stack which are smaller than 4 because whichever, whichever element is smaller than 4 so for those elements my answer will be 4 right because and you can see here for 2 answer is 4 right so what I do I this is my answer so what what I do simple stuff for 2 I, I see what is the element so it is 2 so for 2 actually you can directly insert index here you can do 0 so that you can put that into the answer array so let me insert 0 only forget about 2 right we will be considering the values but actually we'll be inserting the index so that can we, we can see what is the current element and based on that index we can uh, basically uh, put our answer in the answer array, right so for z so for 2 it will be 4 now is there any element in my stack no no element so this will be removed i'll insert 4 here or rather i would say i'll insert index number 1 here okay this is done i come to 0 i see that is the topmost element less than 0 no that is not so i put 0 as well or index number 2 so actually if you see your this this stack will be in uh, decreasing order when you move upside okay in decreasing order or in increasing order when you move down then comes 9 your color element is 9 you see is my topmost element <laughs> sorry is my topmost element uh, less than the current element yes it is so for 0 or for index number 2 my answer will be the current element that is 9 so I'll put here 9 this is removed from stack I come here now my topmost is 4 I see that is 4 less than my current element that means is 4 less than 9 yes so at index number 1 also I put 9 now my stack is empty right this was already removed my stack is empty so I put 9 in my stack simple stuff now I see 6 okay I see 6 so is 6 greater than 9 no it is not so actually this is index number 3 you just put it right you just put it here so it becomes like this so yeah now you have consumed all your elements so simple stuff what you will do you will just see that okay um, either you can initially initialize everything by minus one or what you can do now you can once you have consumed all the elements so just see what are the elements in your stack pop it one by one and on the on those indices put minus one so this is your answer just see this is my expected answer so the main intuition here is that we put elements in stack we compare my current element with the top of stack i keep on comparing the top of the stack until uh, the current element is less than the top of stack right because for those elements my current element will be the answer right simple stuff uh, so this is how you found find the um, what do you call it next greater element now in this problem what we can do we can take two stacks we can take two stacks let's call it s1 and let's call it s2 right now what what we will do in s1 similar to this part in s1 we will store the elements or indices of the elements uh, that have not found their first greater element we need to find two things right first greater element and second greater element so for finding second we are first finding first as well so in this we'll have the elements who have not found their first greater element as well okay and in s2 we will have the indices of the elements which have found their first greater element but are waiting for the second greater element right this is the stuff we are doing okay now what we'll do simple stuff again you start consuming your array right like my array was let me just see the example so that was uh, 2 4 0 9 and 6 simple okay now in my stack what i'll do just see <coughs> just see i start consuming my elements i come here now what i do we f I, I first compare this element with the topmost element in s2 the comparison will be same as you did here right just the logic has expanded so i'll compare my current element with topmost element here now if my current element is greater than the topmost element of stack 2 then then that means this element which was present on the top already found its first greater element now the current element the current element is greater than the uh, this element that means it has also found the second second greater element so what will happen my answer my answer for this position where this element is present will be the current element simple what you did here you are doing it using two stacks so instead of directly using one stack first you move elements from one stack to other another stack and then you do exactly the same stuff in s2 what you are doing here okay simple so now you keep on doing this from the topmost element and when your current element becomes smaller than uh, 
the topmost element or your stack becomes empty you insert it right so first <laughs> yeah you insert it uh, or 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 rather i would say uh, rather i would say do not insert it we are just on s2 sorry we are just on s2 right uh, we want to find the second getter right so you first uh, do this and then what you will do you will again compare your current element with the topmost element on the stack on stack one first you did it for stack two so the valid elements found their second greater element now you do it for stack one and in stack one elements which have not found their first greater elements are present so what we will do now the elements which which are less than the current element find their first greater element so what i'll do i'll move those elements from stack one to stack two right i'll move those elements from stack one and stack two and once this is complete i'll push my current element to this one why i'll push to this one because my current element has not found the first data element so that means it needs to be present here right this is this is the stuff that we'll do and we do it repeatedly for all the elements in my array now let's first dry run it right let's first dry run it so my array is two four zero nine and six okay this is my stack one this is my stack two this is s1 this is s2 pick up the first element compare it with the topmost element of s2 s2 is empty you can't do anything push 2 and index 0 here you you just need to push the index just for visualization i'm pushing 2 as well okay you sorry just a second i need to push it here right just a second yep sorry for this i need to push it here because yeah this element has not found its first greater element as well now i move here is my current element uh, greater than your topmost element here no this tag is still empty so what do you do you now check it for the uh, topmost element here so 4 is greater than 2 so what do you do you change your sta state you move 2 from here to here now for moving 2 from here to here you take a temp stack you take a temp stack okay why we take a temp stack because suppose my elements were 2 4 5 simple now i want to move all these elements okay actually it will be in a uh, basically increasing order but just assume these are the elements i move to i want to move these elements to another stack so i then i cannot directly move it otherwise it will become five four and two so what i can do i can take a temp stack i can do five four and two and then finally what i can do i can move these elements to the s2 stack so then it will become two four five and just see this is what we wanted so we take a temp stack here okay so that the order of the elements is kept intact so in short we'll move two here using a temp stack simple okay and and you move four here right four here now i come to zero again is zero less is zero greater than this or this no so you pushed zero here or i would say index number zero one and two so four here two here right now you come at nine so just see is nine greater than two yes so that means for two or index number zero i have found out my answer so this will be nine simple now this stack has become empty now i check for this okay i check for this now what will happen for this um for uh, i check uh, nine is greater than zero yes move it here just a second the diagram has become is not so much clear i'll just okay yeah so move it here so you move it to a temp stack 0 2 now your topmost is 4 so is 9 greater than 4 yes it is so move it in the temp stack now finally move it into s2 just see the order is intact right that's the main reason now you come to 6 and obviously you push 9 here 0 1 2 3 these two are removed okay these two are removed now you come to 6 now is 6 greater than 0 yes it is that means i found out the second gate element for index number 2 so 0 1 2 3 4 so 0 1 2 3 4 so for 2 i have found out it to be 6 this is removed now is 6 greater than 4 yes so for 4 as well i found out that is index number 1 so it has become 6 that is removed i come here x is 6 greater than 9 no it is not so that means what you do you simply take a temp stack and remove it so it becomes sorry not here i have not found my greater element not here so it will be like six right now you have consumed all the elements so as i told you in the previous case either you can initialize everything by minus one or you can again 
pop the elements from the stack and put minus one here. All is okay. So this is the expected answer and just see what we showed here. Uh, 966 minus one. 966 minus one. So this is the core logic, right? Let me just show you the code. Yeah, this is the code. So just see what I've done. Uh, on line number three, we take, uh, we find the length of the array. We take three stacks, S1, S2 and the temp stack that I was talking about. On line number eight, we take the uh, array in which we'll be putting our answer. Now on line number 10, just say we start uh, traversing our array and while S2 is not empty and nums of S2 dot peak, that means the topmost element in S2, if that is less than the current element, that means this element has found out its answer. So res of s2 dot p equals to nums of i and pop the element from s2 you keep on doing it while s2 is not empty and the topmost element is less than the current element now once you have done it move to the s1 stack so what you will do while s1 is not empty and the topmost element of s1 is less than nums of i or the current element you move it to a temp stack and keep on popping it from s1 because you need to uh, preserve the order of the elements right simple then finally while temp is not empty is not empty that means you need to move the elements from temp stack to the final stack or s2 stack so s2 dot push the topmost element and then your order will be intact and finally on line number 26 you push s1 uh, s1 dot push i because the current element needs to be pushed onto the stack one or the index of that element right so we do it so this is the stuff um so I, 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 would, I hope this was clear. If I talk about the time complexity for this one, then you can see every element is uh, pushed at most one uh, once in S1 or S2, right? So that means the time complexity will be big of n. Again, space will be big of n because the total space that you take combining all the three stacks as well, that is big of n. So both of them is big of n. So yeah, I hope you learned something new from this video. Uh, do support it by giving up a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel. In case you have any queries, do mention that onto the comments as well. I'll be more than happy to revert on each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.